Rugby League is one of the most wonderful games in the world. Uh, just less than a week ago, me and you were sat in Stu's Coffee Club, just pulling to bits uh, the grand final performance from, from the Cast Tigers. Obviously, disappointing on the day, but reflecting on what's been a wonderful season for you, for Pauli, for the boys. Yeah, obviously disappointing, really disappointing. And, um, but the amount of people that, that come up to you and say, you've had a fantastic year. And I think the way that we've played, you know, it's been entertaining, you know, people have been, you know, made up with how we've played and it's a little bit different. So, um, yeah, we take a lot from this year and hopefully learn a lot from the grand final defeat, so. And now you're heading out as part of the coaching staff for Ireland to the World Cup in Australia. It's very rare anyone gets the chance to do that. Um, you must be really excited and, and really proud. Oh, really proud, proud of my heritage, um, obviously my Irish connections and I think everybody and just to coach a different group of players, you know, the challenge of that and we've got three tough games, Italy, uh, PNG and then obviously we've got Wales, so our aim, ultimate aim is obviously to, to qualify, so but coaching a different group of players, getting them all to buy in, getting them to, to connect with each other and you know it's a challenging, it's a challenging thing to do and we want to be successful so it's exciting. It's very different opposition as well because you've got an Italian squad there who've been building um, for quite a while now, since the last World Cup. They've got likes of Aidan Guerra, James Tedesco, some very, very good established NRL players. You've got P&G, who are a complete different kettle of fish, two o'clock in uh, Port Elizabeth, real, real tough uh, area to go to and play rugby in a tough time of day in the heat. And then you've got Wales, who John Keir, He's been coached here before, he's a very, very wily, smart coach. He's not going to give you an inch. So you've got some real tests from, from a coach's point of view. Maybe three very different game plans. Oh, without a doubt. Uh, if you look at the Italy game as a, as a whole, and they know nothing about us, they'll know obviously players, we know some of their players, but it'll be about us, and us making sure that we've prepared well for the two weeks leading up to that game, that we've got our game right. So that's absolutely crucial. And obviously he's been able to adapt and apply different game plans within within that game itself so and we're, we're dealing with the experienced players you know winners within our within our squad so it'll be a real challenging game that so the players will have to be definitely on and up for it so Liam Finn spoke to us about your development as a coach has been around you since days of Dewsbury and he, he, he was so impressed at how you personally have developed your coaching skills your coach ability your, your, your ideas and, and how you apply them do you feel now like you're you're growing every year as a coach, you're learning all the time. Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. When you first start out, I'm a different coach now, as, as everybody is, you know, you, and you learn each year, you learn from players, you learn from yourself, but always striving to become better and challenge yourself to better, because you've got, you've got players to deal with that need reinvigorating, and, you know, I, I love the challenge of coach, I love thinking about the game, love the game as well, I love watching it, uh, and the thing for me is be the best that I can be, and obviously get that across to the players that, that hopefully helps them, helps us as a team, so. Yeah. What have you learned about Liam Finn? Because his story is, is unique, it's inspirational to a, to a lot of guys who are still maybe at 30 year old, still never had a full time gig and he had an opportunity at Wakefield, he's taken it to both hands and become a better player. I think that's the, the, the most impressive thing. I used to watch him in Championship thinking, this guy is the best player in the Championship. Year on year on year, why is nobody giving him a go? And when he got, everyone thought he was too slow. Want, you know, didn't have that dynamism, dyna, dynamism, dynamism. You know. <laughs> it wasn't dynamic enough. <laughs> but yeah. he's, um, he's he's grown as a player at Wakefield. Yeah. Oh, I mean, our coach Finn obviously at Jews when he came as a nine, and then got him to our, but a smart player, and then obviously got him at Featherston, and and Paulie gave him his opportunity to cast, knowing what a quality player he is, and. You know, he might not be the quickest, but he's one of the smartest half-backs around and how he controls the team. He's a thinker of the game, you know, and I think he's, he's been a fantastic player throughout all of his career. And just to see him develop, and I suppose nobody sees how much work he puts into it. And he's a thinker of the game as well, so, and, you know, he challenges you as a player, as a coach. So it's, it's good and to see him grow and see him, obviously, at Wakefield taking control of, of that side. I think part of their success is based around how he can hold the team together, control the team. and. Get, get players around the park, so... Mate, it's non-stop. Um, me and Jimmy were stood in the office today talking about how we believe next year, after the World Cup's going to be the best year Super League's had in years. You've got Castleford, who are going to be hungry, they're going to use it as fuel, like Paulie said, and go again. Wigan, Sean Wayne will not accept what they had this year. Yeah. Saints look like they're getting better and better. Leeds are Leeds. Wakefield going to be around, Hull. 
Hull KR won't want to let anybody down and then Catalan have got to come back and invest heavily. It's going to be really competitive. Are you excited about what, what's coming next year? Oh, without a doubt. We've already spoke about that uh, as a coaching staff and you know, under no illusion about where we need to take our game and the challenge that we're going to be faced with coming off the back of you know World Cup and what our pre-season looks like, obviously, is getting to the grand final, what it does in terms of shortening your, your pre-season. Uh, we know it's going to be a massive challenge. You know, all those teams that you've spoken about there, they all want the same thing come the end of the year, which is that grand final appearance and that grand final win. Obviously, we're, we're hungry for it. We know what it's like to get there now. We've lost. It leaves a bit of taste in our mouth, but... It's exciting, it's really exciting. I think a lot of the teams that maybe have struggled this year through whatever reason, have you, they'll want to start the year off well like most teams, so it'll be, it's making for a fantastic competition next year.